Welcome to Cartooning for Beginners, lesson number eight. And this lesson is all about crazy alien characters. And the great thing about crazy alien characters is there are no rules. But I'm going to show you how to just come up with some wacky little ideas, I hope. And we get characters like this. This is going to show you how to draw little wacky alien monster characters. So let's get cracking with it and also I'd just like to say thank you so much for all your contributions that you're sending in to Pete at PeteMcKee.com, my email. Hopefully your picture will be shown at the end of this video. We've got a little gallery section for everybody to see and there's some fantastic work. I get unindated, it's brilliant, I love it. Sometimes there's so many I can't fit them all on but I love every single one of your drawings and I hope one of yours is on the end of this video. Keep sending them in, keep liking and subscribing and sharing and telling your mates because we're having a great load of fun doing this. I'm loving it and I hope you too are. I know you're doing really well. You're improving so much. So let's get cracking with lesson number eight, crazy alien monster type characters. So today's lesson is all about drawing crazy alien monsters. Oh, sorry for knocking the little camera there. That's my big clumsy knee. And what's lovely about doing these alien -y monster type things is there are no rules, which is fantastic. But for these that I'm going to show you, I guess we have a kind of rule because you've got to do what I say. Well, so let's start with a, a wonky sort of big sort of circle. Oh, my uh, pen just uh, got caught there. I'll just finish that line, go back round on it. There. Right, so now we've got this big kind of wonky circle. Um, this little guy, I'm going to put some big eyes in this corner here. He's a happy, bouncy little alien. You know, his big eyes here. And I said he's a happy, bouncy alien, so let's give him a nice, nice smile. So around about the eyes there, we've got them. I'm going to big smile, but then make it like a banana round like a banana there oh look at that lovely smile and let's put some eyes in his pupils i put them at either corner so he's got wonky eyes and a big smile and in this smile let's put him some little teeth so little squares just there one two three you can put as many as teeth and as you want you can make them pointy if you like rather than these little square ones but here he is look at that wonky smile he's gorgeous and i'm going to do this as well with his eyelids i'm going to put his eyelids underneath like this he's having so much fun now that expression okay and um, because he's an alien we can do more than uh, two pairs of hands, so a little sticks out there, one, two, three. And on the other side, little stick out, one, two, three. So that's one set of hands. Let's put some in the middle, one, two, three. Another one in the middle, one, two, three. And let's go for six handy leggy feety type things. There, there he is. And he's a big wobbly, bouncy, happy thing. So let's put the ground below him like that. So we got room for a bounce. And when we bounce things, the thing that we use, the, the action is this. So it goes from where the ball or the bouncy thing goes. So from there to the floor and bounce and bounce like that. And then we have to make a little bit of movement lines because he's moving. So a couple of bubbles like this. So what you do is you, on the outer, the first line slightly longer than the second line on the outside. Because it's showing movement going this way. And we're going to make him a bit wobbly like a jelly. So let's make these wobbly lines. All around. And let's give him a little bit of kind of sort of a alien skinny type thing so we'll give him a bobble it lumpy skin it's almost like a little uh, orange so what i'm doing is half circles and they don't have to be perfect and we put them randomly that means if we can all over the shop 
There we go. And the interesting thing about when you say put things random, oh, I've got a um, contact there, uh, is that you're trying to almost space them out evenly in a way so they don't collide too close to each other. And before you know it, you've got like this pattern going off with your randomness. And so there we have our first drawing, this crazy little alien who was happy and jolly and all he wants to do is bounce around, maybe sending out rays of love everywhere. Because he's so happy. Ah, went to love her, like we go. And uh, there we go, and that's it. There's our little happy, lovely, bouncy alien. You choose a colour to colour him in as well. Pick a suitable colour. I'm just going to colour his mouth in. I've done that one, but I'd like to colour that one up. There we go. I put a line just under there, his mouth. Well, I haven't put a nose. I'll tell you what, I'll put a little dot there. Okay. For our second alien, what we're going to do is just advance it a little bit more because we started off with the simple circle alien just to warm our pens up and our hands and our eyes. And so let's try now and do a body shape. Okay, so I'm just going to do a big fat sausage, 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 like that. Okay. So you try and draw one so it's got enough space to put eyes and noses and all that kind of thing in because this is his whole body from start to finish, top to bottom. At the top half of the sausage we're going to put some eyes in. Now I'm going to do the backward and forward C type eye which is this. So you do a C shape and then a backward C shape so they're touching each other. And I'm going to put a couple of pupils in the middle so you've got nice cross eyes like that. Okay, so we've got eyes, let's put a nose, and I'm going to do like a trunk because he's an alien. We can do a different type of nose, so let's go down like an elephant's trunk and a big fat W like that, and back round and touch that. So that's his little alien trunk, and I'm going to put a couple of lines in there, because elephant's trunks have like ridges running up the nose, so we can... Hint that this trunk nose has got like ridges too. And we can add a big smile. So let's do a big smile. And his trunk goes over his mouth. So we have to draw the line so that his nose goes over his mouth. And it's a big smile. What a lovely little happy character he is. And now we can do an arm. And what we're going to do with this arm is make it slightly chunkier than normally that we normally do. Because he's a big chunky character. So you've got to have a chunky arm. So what we try and do, a little way in from the body, kind of about there, we sweep round and then we do one, two, three fingers and we sweep back up like that. So it's a sweep round three and then we just make this bottom line just fill out a bit. So he's got a nice fat, fat arm. And let's, I'll tell you what, let's uh, put a couple of lines like that. And that emphasizes that he's got airy arms, like a dad would, I guess. So we're starting with this like alien shape and let's put some alien feet on. So at the bottom, we'll go out and down and we share that same line again, that shape out like that. And at the back, out like that and then what we can do is go bring it round all the way around maybe do one two and pretend that line's going there one two so he's got big alien feet okay let's have him holding something so we can put his second arm in just here and what we do like with lesson number six i think it was where i showed you how to draw a hand holding something if you haven't seen that one yet you go back to lesson six which is on my youtube channel and you'll be able to i'll show you how to draw hands holding things and so what we're going to whip do is going to whip this hand that shape out here and do a thumb at the end of it like that a little curl 
and then we do the sausages for his fingers so sausage number one and sausage number two just below and then finally sausage three and at the where the little finger ends there the last finger we scoop it round like a smile shape there so it's a bit like how that scoops round there so does that one and now he can hold something so let's have him holding a lollipop it's a little stick for the lollipop and remember it just goes into that like crease of his hand and back out the other side so you can feel his fingers are wrapping around wrapping around that lollipop and let's put a lollipop in there i'm going to do one of those like round sticky candy kind of lollipops like that and it's it's got shapes like that so it's a nice colorful lollipop and he's happy because he's got a lolly. Uh, okay, so he's an alien. Let's give him some more alien features. Let's give him some alien antennas. So we go a little thing, sticky thing there, out, and do a little round bubble on the top. And out there too, another antenna, and a little round bubble on top. And if you wanted, you could do wobble lines. So those two little line things, so they're flopping around his little antenna. Must be receiving information. And I put a couple of little ears in as well. Like that. Just add into the alienness of this little alien character. Now at this point, we could do a couple of things. We could either leave him like that, and you can maybe colour him in big spots. So he's a big spotty alien. Or if you want to put him some clothes on, let's have a go at putting some clothes on. So the first thing I'm going to do is a, a circle line just over it above his arm around like that. So it's like a, a backward C going round. And where that line's just started there, just a little bit above. And let's go across around and down. So he's wearing some kind of top, like a vest, I guess. So that's the arm of the sleeve of the vest there. And let's bring that over, because that's where my hand ends, and around. And let's do another line underneath. There. And I'll do a little belly button. Just there. So what I've done is I've done his vest shape, and his vest is too small for him. And therefore, when you do his pants or his trousers, there's a gap. And in that gap, you do a little belly button. There we go, and I mentioned spots, so I'm going to do spotty underpants. So around circles, and again, now we said random, so we're trying not to touch, keeping a similar distance between each circle, like this. And then what happens is when you run out of space, you've got to do our circles on the line there. But that's really nice because it shows how the pattern continues and it looks really cool. There's a room there for nearly a circle there, and a half circle, and a half circle there. And obviously, colour that in how you want to. Black and white spots, red and white spots, blue and white spots. Whichever spots you like. And because this is a nice clean space here, we could put a little sign on it or something. So let's give him a nice flower. So a circle, and put petals all the way around. So we've got a lovely, fun kind of alien. And we'll put a bit of ground there on him so he stood on maybe it's his moon surface. So little, little dips and dumps and bubbles and bangs. And there we've got our little happy, smiley alien. I think he looks absolutely cracking. So we've done a great one there. And we'll move on to alien number three. <laughs> Alien Monster number three, and then I'm going to really push you now with your cartooning skills because we're really warmed up now and we're doing fantastic work. With this one, I'm going to start with its nose. I like to start my cartoon characters with noses because it means that I can then fit the body around my character so everything fits into place just nicely. So here we've got this big fat nose. And I'm going to do a line all the way across, like my original artwork that I do, where I don't do eyes, I do brow lines. That's what we're doing with this. It's almost like a McKee painting. But I'm going to put eyes on in a second and you will see where they go. 
So there we go, that's our starting point. The line cutting across our big nose. Now for eyes. What we want to do is U shapes. A U shape from the outer edge and up to where the nose is, like that. So this alien's just a little bit grumpy because his eyebrows down below. And then we're gonna put some pupils in. So a pupil there and a pupil in that corner too. He's looking good already, isn't he, this one? And let's put some bags under his eyes. There we go. This guy doesn't get much sleep. So it's looking good already, isn't it, everybody? Yeah, we're all happy with this. Okay, so let's put a body in now before we go any further. So you're going to have to try and follow this shape. I'm going just a little bit above. We're going to go near this line. It means he hasn't got much space for his brain, so therefore he's a little bit more of a, a monster type character who's not got much brains. So up and round and round. How's that? That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? And let's just bring that across to the bottom. Just slightly bent, a slight curve, just to give it a little bit more softness and form. So here we have our little alien character. And let's put some arms on. And this time, all we're going to do is up near the top where his nose is, halfway up where his nose is, round just ever so, following that curve and back in. Start where the same one was there, out slightly, and then back in. Alrighty. Where our arms have started, do a big curl around. Right, that's going to be our alien's clothing. And I'm going to just put his face in a bit more. So let's do his mouth. Now with the second alien, now the big smile that went under his trunk, this one is going to have a, a, a curling down mouth under his nose. There we go. What a grumpy alien this guy is. And let's put a couple of fangs. So this is a grumpy alien monster. Right, and now that we can carry on finishing this little guy off, I want to put some sleeves on this outfit. So there they go, those two lines halfway down his arms. It doesn't matter where those lines are. So you could have a long sleeve top or a short sleeve top. Mine's sort of midway. There we go. And let's, I know, let's do some little, let's do some boils and spots on this character. So... We're almost doing a full circle, but we stop before we reach the end. And that gives us a bit more depth to our spots. Like that. So big boily spots on his nose. There we go. He's a real spotty character, isn't he? And let's emphasise even more um, to this monster. And let's do him some eyebrows. I'm going to do him a mono brow. That means he's got his eyebrows meet. So big, colouring them in there and back out again like that. There. Oh my dear, what a character this is. I stick some ears in. He's an alien monster, so it doesn't really matter uh, what sort of ear shapes you do. You can invent your own there. So we're really building this little character up now, aren't we? I tell you what, let's put a pattern on this top and I'm going to make this like a dress so I'm going to do flowers and like the spots and I'm doing them random so they're all evenly spaced between each other a pattern random there a random pattern even one two three four five wonky flowers it's a wonky flowered pattern dress. And see how that petal there, it hit the line of the dress neck. One, two, three. And it just makes the pattern look really good, like it's meant to be on the dress. If you just do a half one there, one, two, three, one, two, three, on the bottom. Nice flowery dress there. 
and let's put our alien got some rabbit feet. I'm going to make this alien wear some wacky rabbit slippers. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little line out on the edge there. You can repeat that on the other side. That's the start of this alien's feet. And just in a little bit, can you see that, that little kill down? And let's bring that across like that. Okay, nearly done the feet. Now I'm going to put the slippers on. So what we do, I'm going to do slightly up and round. Slightly up and round. And I'm going to put rabbit head ears on. So it's, this alien's wearing rabbit slippers. So it's indoors. Got its nighty on, wearing rabbit slippers. And what we're going to do, we're going to give this alien some lockdown hair. It's not been to the barbers in a while, so. Big sweep rounds. And some other area, some bit of air. All the way around. And you know what with these bubbles, if I'll tell you what, if you can see these boils, I'm going to put one here on the side, like that. A half circle and if you want to be really gross you can make that boil burst so you do a little teardrop there it's popping out and it's a cartoon so we can do stuff like that we can do gross things you can get away with that when you're doing cartoons so that's what's cool about them and let's just put the ground there for him and don't forget I don't normally do this with you but you've got to now you're doing you're being brilliant with all your stuff is sign your work because you're a fantastic artist now. So every picture you do, make sure you sign it. So you come up with your own signature. There's mine. And that's the end of our lesson. Thank you very much.